Welcome everyone to another session of Lung Lab. Here today we are going to be discussing the Vivo 50. To the bottom right you're going to see the power on button which is labeled on this particular device. They went ahead and put labels on it. With the click of it holding for about two seconds you turn on the machine and then it's going to enter a standby mode. We have our plug, our single limb circuit with a bacterial filter and oxygen tubing which allows us to increase our oxygen concentration. We'll be hooking this up to a flow meter. Once we've done this and turned on to the needed oxygen, we will be ready for the settings to be applied. Now when the ventilator is in the standby mode, you want to go ahead and look across the bottom at the menu. First one is mode. We're going to click that and check to see if we're in pressure support. If you notice there, ventilation mode says pressure, breath mode support. This is the same as BiPAP. From here you want to click setup which is right next to mode and that's going to bring up all your settings. We're matching them with information at the top left that the settings that they want to have as a standard setting. So we have our PEEP of 5, we have our backup rate of 14 breaths per minute, we have a targeted volume of 550 milliliters and this is a hybrid mode that we're in. So we have a minimum pressure of seven with a max pressure of 25 so that the, it could make the adjustments. All set with the new mode that we have in there. We're gonna go ahead and now click alarm that's right next to the setup and we're gonna get all our preset alarms. Go ahead and go through these and make sure they're within the range that you like. If you hit click alarm one more time, you'll scroll to the next page. And the only thing you need to ensure is that you do have settings set for your high and low end tidal CO2, which we do have connected to our circuit. Next, you want to hit the monitoring screen once you're all set up. This is where you're going to be getting your feedback from your patient with ventilation rate, peak pressure, peep, mean, leak. Now we're going to explore the single limb circuits. We have a 1522 connector that's going to go in line with the end tidal CO2 monitoring. You'll notice it is disposable for the CO2. There is a white disposable piece that's inside. From this point we're going to go ahead and turn okay. off the device and save it for the next patient by clicking that same power on button. You hold and press for about two seconds, it turns off the screen. Thanks again for joining us on Lung Lab. My name is Luis Rueda, and we'll see you soon.